you can look at my gate here you might not be able to see it very well but from the right here going across to the left there's a considerable drop it's dropped so you can see it a little bit better at the bottom but it's dropped about an inch inch and a half uh, from one side to the other it is quite a wide gate you'll also be able to see on this side how the braces have been done let me just bring you out a little bit i don't know why the braces have been done like that if anyone knows in the comments why people would do braces like that uh, just let me know but the brace should be going from this corner here to there and from that corner to there all the way is at this side of the gate here and that's just sagging down all these braces what are here as you can see they're not even touching all what they're doing is adding to the weight on that side which is making that sag even more so we need to get rid of those and we need to put a couple of new ones going across here all i'm going to be using to do that is this piece of pallet wood here hopefully i'll have what i need i'll be using the skill tools oh gate's going to slam where's the hedgehog put the hedgehog back and then as you can see here I've widened these holes over time for my little locks what go on the inside hopefully they'll fit a lot better and uh, will improve the function of this gate a little bit and you'll get to see these tools in action one of the things I like about these boxes is they connect together like so so I've just put the drill and the driver box on top of each other. I've got the jigsaw one down there. They connect like that and they all lift together. Really steady, strong boxes. Really good bit of kit that. Uh, let's open them up, see what we've got inside then. I need to look after all this because you guys are going to want it all looking like new when you get it. So we get some drill driver bits and here is the impact driver. 18, is it 18 volt or 20 volt? I'm not sure. Either 18 volt or 20 volt really nice slim line it's got these little buttons down here which are pretty cool i was just going to say they're checking your battery life but they're not so i'll show you what they're for let's put them back in there get battery out i pop the battery on whoa look listen to the nice lovely there's a button at this side a button at that side and it tells you exactly how long you're going to leave your light on for so if you're going to be you've got a little light somewhere where is it there on the front of your drill if you're going to be working in a tight space you know you're going to you know you're going to be in there a while you can just press the 10 minute button and that light will just stay on for 10 minutes or you can reduce the time there you go so that's on for 10 sec 10 seconds now so i'm going to use the impact driver now to take a couple of screws out Got the quick release chuck there the skill one and a pz2 if i'm a bit vague this is the first time i've been using these tools as well i'm going to go get that old screw out i think i might pop them two screws in actually uh, the rest believe it or not is just held together with brad nails Really been workbench. Can't beat it, don't knock it till you've tried it. Instead of taking the gear off its hinges and trying to brace it somehow and twist it back square i had this ingenious idea of just jacking it up in place on that far bottom corner and bringing everything up nice and level and just praying that the gate didn't fall to bits and it worked
Got to love the colour of these tools as well. Black and red looks really smart. And uh, the circular saw has a soft start and a break as well, which I really like. And I'm beginning to really regret giving these tools away. Plenty, plenty, plenty of power in this drill, dr plenty of power in this 20 volt, plenty of power in this 20 volt drill, plenty of power in this 20 volt drill drive, oh, I can't see it, plenty of power in this 20 volt drill driver, that was easy for me to say, even with a blunt countersink bit in it. I then proceeded to put about 45,678 screws exactly into the cross braces. Loving the ergonomics of this jigsaw, even with my teeny weeny small hands, very easy and comfortable to hold. So you ladies out there, I'm sure you'll be able to use this with ease. And for you guys with big brat verse fingers, I'm sure you'll be fine as well. What a surprise, a shitty nappy thrown out the back door. Lily! Get this nappy put in the bin. Get the nappy in the bin. Right. Here you go. The gap there now is actually a little bit smaller than that side, but that's a good thing. Because if that does drop at any, it'll come down to a reasonable height, but it's solid as a rock. Uh, just shows you a couple of little bits of pallet wood. I'll give it a couple of coats of paint. Uh, it will need a couple more just to get rid of them uh, white lines where the old bits of wood was, but you know, I'm not fussed. Uh, the, let's put a new lock on off camera. That fits into the hole, the old hole perfectly at the top. Look, and you can see how far it had dropped because that's where it goes down to. Uh, the center one I've took off and the bottom one fits perfectly now as well. I've also took this handle off at the other side And that looks quite nice with a coat of paint, nice and fresh. And like I say, that is a lot easier to open now. Yeah, and the handle's gone, don't need it. All we're gonna do is open it there. And lock it there. Simple, and on a night, we can lock it down there. And if we ever go away, put both padlocks on. Simple as. Jobs are good and piece of cake, couple of bits of pallet wood, bit of paint and them lovely skill tools. Just a quick recap on the competition then guys. Uh, these are all the tools available. What did we use today? We used the impact driver, the drill driver. What I like about these is they've got metal chucks on them. Uh, I like the light function so you can put it on a timer so you can, so if you're in a dark area, you can leave it on a bit longer. Uh, also, I like the, the pressure sensitive triggers on both of them so you can really dial that amount of power that you want to put in and they are 20 volt in both of these you get a charger and you get a four amp power battery we've also got a selection of two two amp power batteries as well so i think there's about six batteries all together with two chargers fast chargers we also use the jigsaw with a quick release blade again you've got the same function with the light on this one really nice little bit of kit i like the the way it's designed really nice to hold we also use the circular saw and it's got a soft start and it's got a break on it as well so it stops instantly really nice clean cut really powerful you might have noticed in the video i was changing my batteries a little bit but that's because all the batteries was only on one power when i took them out of the box uh we didn't get to use the router but again the router's got soft start and a break in it it's a half inch router, 1400 watt power, and you've also got a selection, different size collets, so, collet, so I'm assuming you've got quarter inch, half inch, and eight millimeter. Looking at the box there as well, you've also got the guide bushing, the matching router bit as well, so you can follow templates, another straight cut router bit there, and some other accessories. And the last thing that we didn't use was the 125 millimeter random orbital sander. It comes in a nice carry case, dust collection, and some spare sandpaper. All you've got to do is to enter is 
make yourself a project with minimal tools, these type of tools, so not, not to have a big fancy workshop, but if you have got a big fancy workshop and you want to take part, feel free, you just won't be in the running to win. I want the person who wins uh, to be able to get good use out of these and somebody who needs them. So 1st of September is the closing date, or there or thereabouts, don't worry if you're a little bit late. Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, any other means, you can email if you want, if you don't want to post a, a picture of what you made, and just make something simple, use some minimal tools, use some reclaimed timber. The rules are really vague, so just enter something, and let me know you've built something, enjoy what you're making, and you've got a chance to win in this lot. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.